You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is September 10th, 2018. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be talking about something perhaps a little uncomfortable. We are going to be talking about suffering. Now, chances are, no matter how old you are, there has been a little bit of suffering in your life. Maybe a loved one died and you grieved for them. Maybe you suffered an injury and you felt the physical suffering that went along with it. Maybe at one point you felt left out and you felt the suffering of loneliness. All of these things are genuine suffering. And one of the hardest things for us to understand as human beings is why we must suffer. Even adult adult Christians who have studied their faith still wrestle with the concept of why bad things happen. Why does God allow for bad things to happen? Why does God allow for horrible storms to destroy cities or for evil men to come to power and kill thousands of people? Why do these things even happen? Well, this is actually a very good question. And I want to warn you before we dive into it, that even though we have studied and thought about it, we still don't really know the entire answer to this question. We do know that God is love, that God's very being is love, and that he is all-powerful. We know that he can do anything. But the problem is, is that knowing that God is love, that he loves us and that he can do anything, sometimes makes it even more frustrating that he allows bad things to happen. One reason why bad things happen in this world has to do with the way that God created us. God gave us free will when he created us. Having free will means that we get to choose We not only get to choose somewhat meaningless things like what we have for breakfast or what color socks we'll wear in the morning, we also get to choose some of the most important things like whether we will live a good life, whether we will believe in God or reject Him. Free will oftentimes leads us to do beautiful things for other people but it can also lead us to do evil and hurtful things to other people. Because of free will, some men in history and women too have made horrible choices that have led to the suffering of thousands of people. Because God gave us free will, he allows these horrible things to happen. Now, although we don't have all the answers for why bad things happen, We do know one thing. We know that God can use all things for his good. A horrible storm that destroys a town can be used for God's good. Maybe through that storm, through the people pitching in and helping each other in those situations, more souls will be won for Jesus. They'll see that God really is good, that human beings really do care about each other, and when they die, they will enjoy God's loving embrace in heaven forever. Also, through the horrible events in history, we know from a couple of weeks ago when we talked about the Nazis, that two, at least two, many more actually great saints came from the horrible things that the Nazis did. St. Maximilian Kolbe and St. Edith Stein were both killed by the Nazis, and they, they died horrible deaths, and yet what they left behind are a powerful testament to faith that have inspired millions of Christians after them. And so, Sprouts, I know we are talking about a heavy topic today, so I want you to be brave with me this week. 
And I want you to say an important prayer today before we go any further. I want you to say this prayer. God, be with me. God, be with me. The reason I want you to say this prayer is because this week we are going to talk about how, even in the sadness and the suffering and the sorrow, God is there. He will never abandon us no matter how hard the suffering might be. And so, say that prayer. God, be with me. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. more thing sprouts if you would like to continue to learn about your amazing catholic faith at home or in school i encourage you to download and use a set of free catholic coloring pages there's one for each letter of the alphabet and you'll find them at do small things with love forward slash coloring